I just don't know how you tell identical twin newborns apart. Welcome back to Blue Times 2. I'm Ellen and I'm pregnant with identical twin boys. And I have no idea how people tell their babies apart when they're just born, they're little blobs, and they have no personality. <laughs> I asked a lot of people who have twins, like how did you tell them apart in the beginning? And some people give me little tips and then some people just say, oh, you, you'll figure it out. You're the mom, the mom knows. And I just can't help but think, I sure hope I know because I don't wanna mix these babies up. Like eventually I'll probably know, but in the very beginning, do you really know who's who? Uh, I don't know. So we're gonna put a little system in place so that we don't mix up the babies. The first thing we're going to do is, once we bring them home, have one of their toenails painted. That'll be a little bit more permanent of a way to tell them apart. But I went ahead and bought them really cute little ID bracelets. <laughs> I looked up ID bands for twins um, on Amazon and on Etsy and on Google and I found some really cute ones on Etsy that the the shop owner actually sent me two of each so um, I'll show you them close up but my baby's names are going to be Graham and Gabriel and these little tiny you can see how tiny they are let's see if I can focus on it Gabriel, and they're soft and a little bit stretchy. I don't think they'll scratch their skin too much. They're just soft little cloth bracelets. And this is Mr. Graham's bracelet. So I figured we'd be taking these off like during bath times and stuff and um, we'll probably put these on there ankles instead of their wrists because their little wrists are going to be so small and they'll be moving their hands all over the place so I think maybe these will be more like anklets. <coughs> Excuse me. But I just wanted something that was going to be a little bit permanent so the nail polish will be so we won't be able to mix them up because we'll see who has the toenail polish on and who doesn't. And then our last little strategy is going to always be trying to keep them on right and left sides. So always putting one on the right in the stroller or on the right in the car, on the right in the bassinet. And hopefully by the time we really get used to using these little systems of bracelets and nail polish and right and left, then we'll probably actually be seeing a little bit of their personality by that time, maybe. These are also just going to be to help with people who ever come over and if like they're coming over to help while I'm like going out in the other room and they feel like, oh, I don't want to mix the babies up, I'll be like, okay, put the bracelets on. <laughs> Take a look at their nail polish. They'll figure it out. Um, but I'm also making this video because uh, if anybody in the world has any other suggestions or a little, you know, heads up like, yeah, you actually will be able to tell them apart, you know, to put my mind at ease. That would be nice, but um, that's the system we're going to put in place and see how it works. It was a short little video, but you know, just a little something for your Wednesday. But I will be back on Friday because my Amazon packages have been a flowing with all of my hospital bag contents. So I do expect on Friday to have all the stuff from my hospital bag and we're gonna pack it together. Okay, see you back here on Friday. Bye.